Kelsey and I just recently celebrated our very first wedding anniversary, and it was a wonderful day, and it reminded us both of that perfect day of February 2023, where we tied the knot. And sure, some, some, a couple things went wrong on the day, as they always do, but to us, it was a perfect day. I'm not sure these people would feel the same, though. Today we're gonna watch a compilation of the most cringe moments from weddings. Uh, these pop up on my TikTok all the time, and I think they just, they're a special kind of uncomfortable, truly. You know, grooms just being overly sexual in their speeches, relatives just being completely out of pocket. We're gonna see it all today, and we're gonna cringe at them together as a family. <laughs> so come on, sport. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that thing dropped like a brick. <laughs> you can see it's still alive though. It was moving its head right before. <laughs> that sounds so funny. That's probably a bad omen. Something about doves feels like that me that means something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so he got it, he kissed it, and then he released it, and it... See, that's beautiful. See, that could be a metaphor for... I don't know why I'm trying to find meaning now in all these things that are happening, but that could be a metaphor for like, I get knocked down, but I get up again, you know? Trials and tribulations. Conquering them. Bo empower you to do the things that you dream. I promise to be your biggest advocate and your best friend. I commit to sharing with you in seasons of abundance and in seasons of... Holy fuck, she did not skip a beat. <laughs> Holy fuck. And in seasons of scarcity. <laughs> she processed what was happening and just went right back to the vows. She was in that shit. I mean, I, that's probably the most locked in I've ever seen anyone. People talk about being locked in now, right? It's a very common phrase. Oh, bro, he's locked in. Bro's locked in. Bro's locked in. Bro, you gotta lock in, bro. This is being locked in right here. Watch this. Watch the time between her looking at what happens and then keep keeping going. And then see the Two seconds. Locked in. Oh, wow. You can, you can tell. You can tell. I mean, she looks pale. It and your best friend. <laughs> you can tell she's like, <laughs> she's just in that horrible, horrible zone where you are you know you're gonna puke, but you can't, like you're in the Uber or something like that. That's one of the worst feelings of all time. Just sitting there being like, don't do it, don't do it. Like you're just, you're mustering any and all like mental fortitude that you possess to not puke and you fail. Always, always the puke wins. And, and he, he, a couple times, I bet she, I bet she swallowed it a couple times too. You know, I bet there was a couple gags before that where was, a couple chunks came up. She... Mm. Oh, I swallowed it. Please continue. You know, little beads of sweat. Oh, it's the worst. Let's just, I love the fact that she's mic'd up too so you can just hear every sound. Just blowing chunks ASMR. With you in seasons of abundance. That's like, it's like vomit from a cartoon. <laughs> Lasts so long too. And in seasons of scarcity. <laughs> little, oh, oh, it like came out of her nose a little bit. I, oh, I love it. Holy shit, that was perfect. You're not gonna ruin my You are not gonna say my son has flaws. Wow. Everybody has flaws and that's why I love it. Oh my god, she's she's pissed that she said that he has flaws? It was probably in like a, you know, in like a, and sure, we both have flaws, but we've overcome them and blah, blah, and I love those parts of your whatever, you know? You know what I'm saying? My son has flaws. I made a perfect little boy, okay? I raised me a perfect man. He's perfect, flawless. One of the only people on earth without any flaws. And I birthed that motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. That's how we do it in the South. Perfect little kids.
What a weird thing to take offense at. I mean, even parents of kids would be like, yeah, no, my kid, I mean, like, I'm, fu I'm fucked up, you know? In a couple areas, you know? Listen, my kid is flawed, okay? And that's on me. Here's the thing, I'm flawed. Um, you can leave, Judy. Yeah. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. You can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. Yes, that you dress are. you're wearing, I'm Oh my God, dude. Imagine leaving the altar, or the, you know, the lack of altar, to go get in your mother-in-law's face. I love that. You know what? Hold that, th hold that thought, preacher, all right? Why did you say it to my fucking face, Mary? Bitch! What you came for? Huh? Oh, get out. I'm not getting out. <laughs> what a, what a outfit. <laughs> Dang, shorts to a wedding. Fuck yeah, this is a party. Try it, and I'll have you arrested. Well, Tony, order. get her out of here. Let's this is not right. The church, this is not, I'm sorry. Let's respect the wedding. I'm not leaving. Show some respect. Right. Well, you show respect. You have two daughters. Let's just calm down. Let's say, hey, we don't need this. We don't need this. I don't want to hear any flaws without. All right. You have the flaws right now. Are you kidding? Like an adult. You don't know how to act like. I love this. Holy fuck! Why are they arguing about who has the flaws? I don't got no flaws. I didn't bring any. Okay. What I do have are beautiful white shorts. You think I got the flaws right now? Well, you got the flaws right now. Oh, are you kidding? I gave that man $500 because he wanted to live high and mighty. Excuse me. Oh my God. This is not your day, it's wow. not about you. No, but she's not going to flaws about my job. Yeah, yeah. This dude's just on his phone. He's like fucking cruising Twitter. Oh my God. It's not about you. She's in love with your son. Okay, okay. Accept it. Oh, accept it. Heidi, she's using my son. Heidi, you're going to sit down. Let us keep uh, 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 what have you chose? That was very, very kick ass. That kicked fucking ass. Listen, Judy, I understand that maybe you don't get along with your son's future wife. I understand maybe you got a bone to pick with her. You know, maybe you wanna maybe you wanna chew her up a little bit. I understand that. I get it. There's probably some family dynamic there that we're not we're not privy to just by this video. And I understand that people you know, might not want to spend a lot of money on their wedding or might not have money to spend on their wedding. I understand that. But fucking put on some pants, Judy. Judith, if I may if I may call you that, Judith. It's a wedding. You own pants, put on some fucking slacks, okay? Thighs have no place at a wedding, you know? You know what does have a place? Flaws. You can tell that this kid's inner monologue, he's like, oh fuck, my comrade's down. All right, it's time to man the fuck up. You got this, come on. It's all on you now. You gotta put the team on your back right now, let's go. These flowers must get thrown. He did it too, little king. <laughs> that dude, there's two, types of, there's two types of dudes, you know? <laughs> that kid just accepted defeat immediately. He's like, I fucked up. There's no point. In, I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> so dramatic, dude. Ah! What have I done? And this dude's like, all right, you gotta lock the fuck in. Lock the fuck in. Pressure's on. It's all on you now. Come on. Also, can I just say that it is a cute thing that Baby Shark was playing as the two of them were supposed to walk down the aisle, but that's a song that should just never be played out at a wedding because it's just gonna be in everyone's heads for the rest of the night. Everyone's just gonna be do do da 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 like talking to relatives like how have you been? How have you maybe sorry it's just are are you singing it too? It's fucking it's like in my head. What an earworm that is. Probably was a smack ass every chance I get. That's all I got. Are you sure? Those were his vows? Wait, and what's his name? His name's Cody, good. <laughs> no, good, good, man, thank you. Thank you for making us look good. Really appreciate that. I'm just pissed because my vows were the same at my wedding. You sure? I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right, with. Cool. We've made it this long. Oh my God! <laughs> nah, I didn't, I didn't fucking write anything down. <laughs> Uh... <laughs>
That was it. I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. I think there's a longer clip of that. Hold on. To hold you accountable and to share with you the most. Okay, so here's the more full context. So she had a full speech written down. And this is, <laughs> and this is like, it was long enough where they could like edit it with like, you know, touching music and they got different angles here. This looks like a beautiful wedding. It's beautiful moments of my life. I'd hate to have to follow that. Anywho, Cody. I'll promise to smack that ass every chance I get. <laughs> oh. That's wow. all I got. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, oh, it hurts. This is either going to be the most beautiful couple ever, or we're all going out in the same bolt of lightning. Either way, Cody, please proceed. She's the brains of the operation, so. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other one? Apparently you don't put that on here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why would? <laughs> Come on, Cody! Fucking say anything else. Say anything else. Mm. Cody, <laughs> on the wrong hand. Yeah. So that's the yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. So let's try that again. Get back here. And may maybe say something. <laughs> maybe, maybe say words. You say words. Now. I love that. Love you. <laughs> Promise to frustrate you all the time. Promise to frustrate you all the time. Good. <laughs> I got that backwards, didn't I? Did it? Are you sure? I didn't write nothing down. I love in the background you just hear, "Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody." Like even as like even as like. <laughs> Even his most deadbeat relative is probably like, come on, Cody, like, you could say, you could say any, literally anything else, anything else. Say one thing you like about her. Talk about her flaws. It's probably better than this. That's what you're going out with. That's what I'm going right. with. Cool. Uh, I can't, I, I can't believe they included that in the wedding video, too. That is phenomenal. I mean, what else would you expect from someone named Cody? <laughs> Fucking shitty, shitty skater boy name. Oh, come on, Cody. The, the disappointment in his voice there, whoever that was. Come on, Cody, that made me feel bad. I made, I felt bad in my soul, like, sorry, I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'm doing my best here, okay? Sure, my jokes might not be A1 today, but I'm trying my best, dad. But most importantly, you are the love of my life. You make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more, and more love than I ever thought possible. You have made me a better person. I've even changed my career, becoming a pipe fitter, to better support you, to make sure I master all the tips of how to lay the pipe, baby. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I mean, it's horrible. To make sure I master all the tips of how to lay the pipe, baby. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. You didn't have to do the motion. You probably didn't have to do the motion. You could have just maybe given her a little wink, you know? There was a more subtle way to kind of fit that in. That probably would have matched the vibe. It could have been funny. But yeah, the, the, the motion kind of ruined it. Make sure I've mastered all the ways to lay the fucking pipe. To lay the pipe. <laughs> Okay, so apparently this is the same wedding, and this also happened. See, during your first dance. Oh my when god. When your husband drops you during your first dance. Oh my god. Wait, is this? Wait, the wife posted this. This was actually the wife that posted this. When your husband says he's going lay the pipe during his vows. Classic hubby. That's my hubby. That's a classic hubby move right there. I said, are you kidding me with that? What is wrong with you? Crying laughing emoji. Okay, it seems that if she's the one posting it, it definitely worked for her. They're probably the type where that where that works and it and it worked. She's clearly proud of it. So actually, I'm happy for them. The ick is unreal. No, they're probably they're probably gonna have a lasting marriage. He dropped her and she posted that. Wow. Talk about a flaw. If there is anybody here who objects today to this wedding, please speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay. He's holding his peace. <laughs> you, you get me? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. That is such an insane move. Wow. Wow. That's what I thought. <laughs> Fuck. You think there was like an ex-boyfriend or something in the crowd that was like about to stand up? Just like kind of waiting. He's like, now's my chance. <clears throat> Beautiful wedding, right? <laughs> oh, I'm Steve, distant cousin. 
<laughs> That's an insane fucking move to wear a gun at your wedding. What do you think's gonna happen? I mean, this was clearly for this joke. Uh, listen, I've said it before. I'm not really, I'm not personally a fan of guns myself. I get that people are fans of guns, but even if you are a fan of guns and you own a bunch of guns and you like guns, you think he would, like, not be armed at your own wedding? I mean, unless, like, you had, like, enemies. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe he just did it for the bit. Which, again, I respect. Are you ready to read your vows? Oh. I think I'm okay right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's okay, I'm sure they're in there. <laughs> I asked you multiple times. Oh, no! Fucking, why do these recordings is, exist? Like, who would leave this in the footage? I did this as a joke. <laughs> all right, <there>. Brian. <laughs> this is fitting. <laughs> um, do you know where they are? Uh, yeah, right upstairs. Upstairs? No, do you no, think no, Matt can go get them? I oh, got he's them. got them. Yeah. Holy fuck, thank God. Oh my God. I got them. Yeah. It's his spontaneity, everyone. <laughs> the, 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 like, I asked you multiple times. Is that, was that not just a, just a complete foreshadowing for the rest of their relationship? That was just a window into the future right there. They come through on the clutch there. Give me a heart attack. <laughs> Lydia. <laughs> it's just like, I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. All right, that's all that was on there. Mia Moore. Are you ready? Mia Moore. <laughs> Mia Moore. I've never heard someone say that whiter. Mia Moore. Is her name Mia Moore? I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. Yeah. When a bear kills a moose during your wedding. It's a grizzly bear killing a moose. Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. That's beautiful. It is. That's just nature. That's like, that's like a fucking Planet Earth documentary happening at your wedding. I would be honored. People say that sh kind of shit's a bad sign. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You know how lucky you, you have to get to see something like that? I'm, I'm a little bit joking, but I'm also being serious. It is kind of beautiful. That's the circle of life right there happening right in front of you. Sure, something is dying, but that bear is going to take that moose meat carcass back to his kids. And those kids are going to live. And that's the circle of life. How the goose and fury is a sound on a sun on a. It's the circle of life. <laughs> Alright, let's watch the next one. I've said this before in ma many times, but when I proposed to Kelsey, there was a dead seal carcass on the beach when I proposed to her. And I was just praying to God she didn't see it because it was between me and where she was coming from. I was waiting there on the beach with this little setup and she was walking down the beach and it was literally between me and her. And I'm like, just don't look down, don't look down. And somehow she didn't see it on her way to me. But then she saw it after. And I was kind of like, oh, I hope she doesn't notice it because like, I don't want her thinking it's like a bad omen or something like that. And then <clears throat> I remember like, I was walking in front of her after the, I did the old deed and she said, yes. I was walking in front of her and I looked behind and she was taking a selfie with the with the carcass and like a couple of her friends. And I was like, oh, okay. She's the one for sure. I mean, I knew, but I extra knew at that moment. That's why I'm empathetic towards that one, you know? Drunk groom, oh, let's fucking go. I'm having, I'm having a good time. I'm having a fucking good time, dude. Who let me have fun right now? Seriously, look at that! Look at that. There's nobody in here, I'm in the garage, but. <laughs> All right, well, this one is just sad. Actually, that's not funny. That's just sad. Couldn't even wait till the reception. This is it during the dinner? That's sad. That might be signs of a bigger problem.
Why did he take out his dentures? Why was that part of the dance move? You can also do that dance with teeth. This is supposed to be a horny song. Pony? It's like the horniest song ever, and he did like the two least horniest things you can do. Take out your dentures and then roundhouse kick your wife in the face. That'll kill the mood, won't it? He also tossed his teeth to the audience. Yeah, whoever catches those are gonna get gum disease next. That's <laughs> how it works. It's the Kentucky version of a bouquet. He wasn't even close. He just straight up kicked her in the face. No way. Maybe he was trying to take a picture of her. <laughs> Like, as if there's no one else there with a camera, and he's just like, oh, damn, you look bomb. Damn, you look fucking bad, babe. Smile, you look fucking bad as hell. Yo, yo, excuse me, Mr. Shmevitz, can you, can you go move off to the side? I know you're walking her down the aisle or whatever, but she looks bad as hell right now, and you're kind of fucking up the shot. So can you, damn, damn, I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. Two, wait, three times, there we go. <laughs> See that something like that is a good wedding fail because that's just a good story. The, if the direct parties aren't the ones fucking up and it's just like ancillary things happening just by some bad luck, that's a good story. That is a good story later. So shit like, how, like that happens at your wedding, you should be proud, especially if you get footage of it. God. Okay, so the you can clearly tell the guy who is grabbing the cake is just super fucked up and thinks he's being funny by ruining the cake moment. And he gets decked. Oh my god, dude. Again, dude, this might be, you know, that's probably this guy probably has a bigger issue at hand. Probably woke up the next morning and was like, ah, probably gotta make some changes. Or maybe he didn't. And he's still he's still going at it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are people screaming so loud? I mean, I feel bad for Granny, but that's funny. Hey, yo, Granny got wet! Oh, I wish I didn't say that. Soaking wet Granny hours. Now that's a soaking wet Granny. You're welcome. I'm bummed that there's footage of me saying that now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Holy fuck, wait, it took me a second to realize what happened. Okay, this person is singing. Somebody backs into the mic stand and it like, <laughs> like jams the mic in their mouth slash throat. Fucking <laughs> God, dude. That is one of the most insane, it's in there. Is that, <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> it's his throat. <laughs> like, did he, did they get it out? <laughs> Bro, it's like, why is it right on beat? It like sound, that's why I didn't notice it the first time because it sounded like it's in the song. <laughs> People in the car are like, yo, what are these ad libs? Yo, this kind of goes crazy. What are these choking sounds? <laughs> oh my fucking god, I love this. I'm so happy I watched this. I'm having so much fun right now. I think that's like my new favorite video, truly. <laughs> so, I wonder if they were okay. <laughs> Somebody help that dude. Oh, well, folks, I hope you had as much fun as I did watching that. Love. It's a beautiful thing. And I would love it if you subscribe to this channel. I realize I never really say that. Might as well give it a go right now. See how many we get. Go ahead, if you're not subscribed, just take a look down there. And maybe if you see the subscribe button, it's not, just, just, 
you know, might as well. Just, 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 let's fuck around. Let's just see what's good, you know? Let's just see what happens. And click the like button too for me. I know I've seen a couple very viral wedding clips that didn't make it into this. So if you want to see a, a round two of this, let me know. I appreciate you and uh, all the best. Goodbye. <laughs>